Should I play this without low detail mode? I mean, I could try. I don't know. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day today, as always, and welcome back to Geometry Dash. Today we'll be doing Aero, I think, or Eero, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, by Jonathan GD, who is of course a very well-known creator in this community, and I think he's known for his XL demons, so like, he's known for making long demons, maybe? I mean, that, that's what I imagine, <laughs> I don't know. This is the first Jonathan GD level I've ever played in my life, so... Sorry. <laughs> now, as you can see, it's still not rated. It's only an insane level, even though it's a demon. But it will get rated, we just have to give it some time, I guess. Now, this is a very cool level, and I'm very excited to play it, but... There is something unfortunate, as you can see by the plus symbol here. It has many objects this level, and usually my laptop Yes, I don't have a PC. You can make fun of me, I don't mind. <laughs> so yeah, my laptop usually handles every level. But this time, I don't know why. Maybe it's like a, there's an even higher amount of objects than usual. So it kind of slows down. Specifically around 60 to 70% of the level. That's the point where it starts to really, really slow down. But man, I have to play it without low detail mode. It's such a pretty level. and. With low detail mode, it's like a normal, I don't know, it's still fun, of course, and the gameplay is the same, but I would feel very bad if I didn't showcase this level in its entirety. What I'm gonna do here, which is technically like a challenge for me, <laughs> I'm gonna try and beat it normally, and you know, like I said, around 60 to 70%, maybe even like 75 somewhere there. That's the point where it really, really starts to slow down. That's what I noticed in practice mode. So the challenge is to beat it like it is. I'm gonna try and go through the slowness, through the lagging. I mean, it's not that hard of a demon. It's probably gonna be an easy demon. I don't know yet, but I think it's worth it. I mean, I really want to showcase every detail and the effects of this level. Such a pretty level, man. So yeah, let's go. Now, about the difficulty of this, this is pretty easy through and through. I would say the hardest part is around, I don't know, maybe 30% when it starts to speed up a little bit. Hmm, maybe, I'm really not sure, but yeah, as you can see, it's an exo demon with very good rhythm, I gotta say, or like sync. The gameplay is very well synced to the music. Bing, 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 bing. I've heard the song before, I think. Okay, there's a ball part now. Oh, this is so satisfying. Because the sync is so good. <laughs> uh, I do want to say that I'm not going to be going for the coins. They are so difficult. I haven't even found all of them. They are like super hidden. Oh my god, look at this. This is my favorite part of the level. Look at it. It's so cool. <laughs> it's a ship and then it's a UFO. This is a little bit hard though. Let me concentrate here. Well, it's not really hard, but I guess you gotta concentrate a little bit. Okay, the drop is coming, which is the the hardest part of the level right here. Okay, let me concentrate. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, what? You can die there? I've never died there, Jesus. In the few attempts that I practiced this level, I think I practiced like 50 attempts. I don't know how long it took, but it's gotta be around there. There's also a spider part that's a little bit later in the level. I think it's at the point where it starts lagging, so like maybe in the 70%, 80, somewhere there. Which is also like a kind of a hard part. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, which is also like a little bit hard. So these two are the hardest uh, sections of the level. The drop at 30% and the spider part, which is later on. But the spider is actually okay. I mean, if you remember what to do, then it's fine. It's not really difficult. It is gonna be difficult though, because, you know, the lag is gonna start there. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, Okay, through here. 
the switches, nice. Bam, bam. Beautiful. The ship, you ready to jump? Nice. More jumps here, bam, bam. Be ready for the ship, nice. The wave, okay. I'm trying to concentrate. Sorry for breaking up my English. Uh, good, okay. Bang, 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 okay. Duo. On the trade, bang, 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 bang. Nice, let's go. Wait, what? It's not lagging. This is the point where it starts lagging. What? Okay, spider. <gasps> oh! 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 Ah. What just happened there? The part where the cube starts, where it has like some dash orbs, and then it goes into a UFO and you know, around the 60 or 70%, like I said, it's the hardest, or it was gonna be the hardest, because it would start lagging, like in practice mode. But, where's the lag? I was expecting the lag. I'm so happy. I don't, I don't even know why I'm so happy. I guess I am happy because I, I can showcase this level in like, in a clear, smooth way, <laughs> like normally. Oh man, that caught me by surprise. But man, wow, it didn't lag. I don't know if it's because we haven't been playing the level for long. I don't know if that matters actually. Hmm, maybe. Oof, no lag again, nice. Ah, really? Go. Nice. Oh, there we go. Final ship. Let's go. Wow, it's not lagging.
think we did it. <laughs> Let me concentrate. Man. I don't want to die here. Okay, last two. There's a coin there, I don't know how to get it. Ooh. Look at that. Kirby and that Pokemon that I forgot its name. But yes. I think it's called Chest Pin or something. Anyway. What a level. It's so good, man. And it's so pretty. Ah. So, in total we have 129 attempts. I probably put more attempts, I probably did something closer to 200, but I gotta say something. I tried making a copyable of the level, even though it was an easy demon, I still wanted to have a copyable. I think because it's too heavy for my laptop specs to handle, I couldn't actually create a copyable and like put starting points in the copyable and then save it and play it. In the end, the game kept crashing and it, it kept telling me that there was an error with the visual C++ or something like that. I think it's because I tried to make a saved starting point in the copyable. I put like maybe 80 attempts in the copyable, plus this is like around 200, I would say. Okay, it seems like I can't rate uh, the demon difficulty. So the only thing I can say is that it's a demon. I can rate the stars on it, you know. But I would say that it's an easy demon. So when the level comes out with the difficulty, when it gets rated, you know, I'm probably going to come back here and rate it a easy demon. Because it's not bad at all, man. It's very, very, very fun. As always, I think something that uh, Jonathan does in his levels, because I've seen a lot of his levels, I think something that he does, except for, you know, Excel demons and long demons in general, I think it's something that's part of uh, his skill set, I think I would say, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, the music sync. It's so, so accurate sometimes. You know, when there's a ship gameplay, it's less accurate, of course, but Man, it's like 95% accurate, even higher probably. And it's so satisfying to play. <laughs> ah, I love this. Such a good level, man. Amazing. Well, uh, this is it, I guess, for today. I've only been recording for like half an hour, I think. Now, to give an update on the new hardest level I want to do, which is going to be a hard-rated 9 circles demon. I'm not going to spoil which one it's going to be. I've practiced a good amount so far. I've put like 1,500 attempts in the level. It's going to take a lot more than that, man. It's so difficult. Even though it's a hard demon, which I've already beaten like Fear of Everything 3 and Dance Massacre, and like in the past, like two or three years ago, I beat the Forsaken Neon on another account and Jawbreaker and stuff. This is by far gonna be my new hardest team. It is way harder than Theory of Everything 3. Way harder. And the only hint I gave you is that it's a classic 9 circle team. Nothing else. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me your thoughts on this video. And also, if you want to see a specific level, maybe a team level, let me know in the comments. Once again, have a lovely day today, everyone. And that's it. See ya.